What's up, YTPC? Uncle Willie coming to you from a wet mobile lounge. Snowing. It was raining. I think it's mixed a little bit now. I don't know if you can tell. It looks like rain, but there's a big, big snowflakes mixed in there with it. It ain't, it ain't cold enough. I don't think it's gonna stick. And then with the rain earlier, it's sort of melting as it comes down with it being as warm as it is. I mean, it's, it's chilly, cold, damp. But that didn't stop me from going up to Boswell's. Went up. <clears throat> for the sole intention of cigars. And I know you guys are getting tired of cigars, so I didn't bring them out to show you today, but I got a box of the uh, Liga Pravada T52, Toro size. They were the cheapest place I found them. I've been looking for a box all week online, and Boswell's actually, from the cheapest place I found, once you add the tax to it, Boswell's was about $70 cheaper for the box. So of course I jumped on it. But <clears throat> as I'll get to this in a minute, as I told you guys last week, well, the first of this week, Monday is, Sunday or Monday is when I ordered it. I ordered a uh, half pound plug of the Cobb plug, which is the 1792 flake in plug form instead of flake. And uh, Wednesday, I waited a couple of days to check the shipping. Wednesday I went on and I checked the shipping and the post office says waiting on arrival. It was in big red bold letters that said, waiting on arrival at facility. So I called PNC and the lady told me on the phone, she said, unfortunately, here we go. Unfortunately, the shipping you chose, it was thrifty shipping. I didn't notice that when I shipped, when I ordered, I just paid $7.99 for shipping thought that it was just the regular shipping. Thrifty shipping, they have 12 to 14 days, 12 to 15 days for delivery. And after it only being a couple of days, she said they, they sometimes they'll go a week before they scan it. She said, I'm showing that it left our, our facility. The post office picked it up, but they've just probably hasn't scanned it yet. And she said, by all rights, they've got until the 15th to scan it. So if you don't hear anything or receive anything or whatever by the 15th, call us back and we'll, we'll issue a, uh, we'll file a claim and issue a um, replacement item. I was like, that's really, that's really nice of you to do that. It's a good idea. But the item I ordered, the, the item in question is out of stock. So at that point, I was figuring it's just going to get lost in the mail. And I'll end up getting my money back for it. Because after the shipping and the tax and everything, it ended up being $65 for a half ounce or a half pound plug. It was 45 before shipping and taxes and whatever. Living in Maryland, we gotta pay Maryland tax and excise tax. <clears throat> so before I went to Boswell this morning, I checked the tracking again and it showed the same thing. Big, bold, red letters. Still waiting for facility, or for it to arrive at facility. So I went up to Boswell's BS'd with the, with the guys up there, with Archie for a little bit. Grabbed my cigars, came home, and I decided I was going to smoke me a bowl of uh, 1792 Flake, which that's what I have in here. 
and this is in one of my other R doors. This is this is my favorite pipe as far as looks, but not my favorite pipe as far as smoking. This was my first R door. I got a buddy that calls them Arder. So I don't know, Ardor, Arder, whatever you want to call it. And it's from the Urano series. <laughs> the Uranus. <laughs> this was from 2020. 2020. I was getting ready to say 2022. <laughs> this one's from 2020. So beautiful pipe, man. The rustication is just. And then the stem, of course. That brown coffee cream stem on it. You know, that's me right there. 1792 Flake. I love this stuff. My little Caribi, Cubata, whatever it is, matte black finish. I haven't had any issues with this lighter. I have two Caribi in the old boy style. And neither one of them has given me any issue. The other one I have, the... The flip cap actually has like a bat wing. It's curved. So I can just flip it on the back and it'll flip open. Kind of fancy. And it's got the uh, smoking pipe uh, trademark insignia on it with all the different shaped pipes going down the. I mean, use two fingers so you don't think I'm flipping you off. Or that thing. <laughs> anyway. So I found out the other day that uh, there's a Boswell's meetup in plan. Still in the planning stages. But from what I hear, it's going to be the first week of April. Still, we don't, oh, I don't know. It's still, I guess, I have to watch Bean's video. He's the one that usually announces when, when it's going to happen. So if you're interested in coming to the meetup the first week of April, start planning now. It's going to be a good time. It always is. I've been to two, and uh, they've been fun both times. You get to meet the meet guys that you actually, you know, you talk to on, online or on through uh, YouTube. You get to talk to them on there. You actually get to meet them, exchange tobaccos, have a pipe with them, cigar, whatever it is you want to do. It's a good time. Now, mind you, it's not as big as the... Uh, Chicago Land Pipe Show or Mule Town or nothing like that. I'm figuring probably at most it, would, it could be probably 12, 15 guys, maybe 20. Depending on who's interested and who, who wants to show up. I'll be there if nothing happens. Of course, I, you know. Hell, I only live 25 minutes away. I meant to bring my mug out. Well, you'll see it soon enough. For me buying a box of Liga, Archie gave me a, a big travel mug. It's like a big Yeti, 32 ounce. But it's got, uh, it's black. And it says AJ Fernandez on one side. And on the back side, it says New World. I was like, man, that's right up my alley. I said, dude, how much is for one of those uh, mugs down there? Because usually you got to buy a box of them or something to promotional items, swag, whatever. He was like, since you're buying a box of Ligas, go ahead and, and grab one. You can have one. Well, hell, I spent 300 bucks. That should have given me a free mug. <laughs> Actually, 340 what I spent. So, you know, I come home, on the way home, I was thinking I'm going to smoke me a bowl of uh, 1792 Flake. 
and uh, I decided I wanted to smoke it in this pipe. Let me break up that crust of sugar. I wanted to smoke it in this pipe because of it being a bigger bowl than my Peterson that I've dedicated for 1792. I was thinking I'm gonna fire up a big old bowl, make a cup of coffee and go out front and set and uh, just to enjoy it. This bowl probably holds half the amount more than what the Peterson does. So it's a big, good size bowl. So when I pulled up in front of the house, There was a package on the front doorstep. Cobb plug. The tracking this morning, the tracking said it's still waiting for it to be checked in at the facility. I got home. This was on the doorstep. Look at that. Look at that brownie. Huh? Huh? If you put some nuts on top of that thing, some crushed walnuts, that would look like a freaking brownie. So when I got it, I come in the house, I went upstairs and was talking to my wife. And I was like, this morning, it said that this here has still waiting for this to go to the facility to be checked in. So when I was sitting there talking to my wife, I clicked on the tracking on this with PNC. And it still shows waiting for arrival at facility. So, <laughs> I'm excited. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Oh my gosh. What? Look at it! <laughs> mm. Seventeen ninety two plug, cob plug. I'll be smoking some of this later just to. Probably, I'm, I'm not sure, but man, look at that brownie, huh? Yes, sir. I thought that I was going to end up getting it lost in shipping because the ladies said come back in on the 15th and they would file a claim. I figured it was going to be the 15th and I filed a claim and then end up getting my money back because they didn't have no replacements to to refill to fill the order for a replacement but when i ordered that their live inventory said only three left i ordered mine and went back on and looked and it said two left i emailed a buddy a text message to buddy and told him about it and he was like thanks i got one i went back on and looked and it said one left I was getting ready to make an announcement and it said out of stock. So I don't know how many they had, but when I found out they had it, they only had three left. And so I feel grateful that I was able to get one. And man, is it beautiful and smells delicious. Now, PNC says that if you like Lakeland, you'll like this. Well, we're not going to get into the Lakeland discussion because Lakeland can be more than just one thing. Usually when you say Lakeland, people think of perfume. But this Tonka bean topping is a Lakeland 
essence, I guess you could say. My goodness. <laughs> I'm going to check tracking tomorrow again just to see if they ever updated and say delivered. I told my wife, I was like, you know, if this never shows delivered, I could go on there and tell them, hey, it's still showing, waiting for a facility. But I wouldn't do that. And I'll tell you why. Because karma is a bitch. She don't give a damn who you are. And if my luck, if I was to try to do that and claim that I never received it or whatever is still sh missing in, sh something would happen. I've been bit by karma too many times over the years when I was young and dumb. Now I'm older and dumb, but I'm smart enough to know not to screw around with karma. I could smell it sitting here from the, when I opened that, the, opened the package. Mm. I can, I can smell it sitting here and it's over there in the other seat. I I'd just leave that in here for my air freshener. <laughs> Smoking pipe says that is top with a tonka bean, and that's the end of story. P and C says. That if you like Lakeland, you 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 will like this. I guess I like Lakelands, some of them. I don't like the rose geranium one, but the tonka bean vanilla whiskey, I like those. So anyway, I'm gonna jump off, finish the rest of this admire that plug and when you get a plug usually is you know a little chunk that's a plug as crocodile dundee would say that's a plug that was my best <laughs> voiceover so. anyway i'm jumping i can't keep my eyes off of it remember if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And with that being said, until next time, you know what to do. Stuff them and puff them.